Got the blink dagger from XXS, and with the observer ward, they understand where no one's running, but instead they look towards the mid lane. Trim protector, there's a sentry ward down, but Ramsey comes also to the front line, looking for the kill over on Q. One more swipe, he's able to get it. The egg is down, so again, VP creates space with the overgrowth. IG have no other choice but to stay there. Caught inside the dream coil as well. The sun ray will turn on, and everyone's getting a tan on Invictus Gaming. XXS will fall, raking the sole survivor. Okay, also walks into a melee creep. They get the X mark spot. A quick little Wraith Fire Blast into a torrent. Still hasn't got the Rage off, but he has Infest. But then again, he has Lifesteal. Just opening up on burning the perfect Dream Call on the back lines. The overgrowth from Solo is still keeping Invictus Gaming out of this fight. Echo Slam jumping, and here comes the Shark! No, 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 no. All over Virtus Pro in front of the Tier 1 Tower. That is the fight they wanted. The question is, can they get more? Pasha into the trees will complete his TP. Wraith King oh. usually gets BKB at some point. This tower is getting chopped down, but the at the same the time, back. they saw it. Q understands it, puts down the sentry ward, and now with a jump forward, you actually have the infest bomb doing serious work. The Conqueror is down. Requiem of Source has a little bit, actually buying time for OP, but he'll still get connected on by that Nova. Troll, somebody put him down. OP still standing his ground. They just kept walking past him. Thanks to the invis of Shadowblade, oh, but that won't last long enough. Oh, his just expired. So what they've got is on the Southern Dire Shrine. Oh, jump forward, Pasha! The Echo Slam is instant for the Disable! They're about to try and kill top lane with the Shaker, if it's possible to do it. He'll have to blink into an instant Fissure, combining it with a Requiem of Souls from OP. There's your Fissure, there's your Requiem, no rage to protect him. Wonderfully executed from IG. He got a little unlucky in that he didn't get any dodges, which potentially Crystal. could have saved them. Hey, run away, run away, run away! <laughs> Yeah, this is back in the in the straight man fight. IGR destroying oh, them. Solo. The ship will connect. XXS comes in. Another fissure. But the sun ray from Lil's going to help him out. Not to mention the rod of Atos. I, I don't agree oh, they just, with the Atos. They realize OP's there, but burning jumps in so quickly. Solo's already down. You'll lose Lil as well. You know, Wraith King's a hero that we, I don't believe we've seen at all in Epicenter, but it is destroying these heroes that rely very heavily on those uh, BKBs and Magic Immunity. It is great at getting that first valley out from them. Poor Q. Yeah, poor Q. That's going to kill him off. Meanwhile, towards the north, here comes your smoke maneuver. Echo Slam instant again. No way to rage. They even threw the shark at that one. And the X Master spot, it hit no one. He'll have to BKB again. Two BKBs completely wasted for him. Oh, no. This is problematic to say the least. Virtus Pro. They need to defend this. The puck. Wait, he just cancelled his TP. He was TPing towards the front lines. He was all the way down the bottom lane. Look and he cancelled his TP halfway through. He doesn't have mana anyways. He doesn't. That, that's, yeah, that's two sets GG of well GG. played. That's... They just call it. Behind the thousands is what really separates them. Top lane XSS in a little bit of trouble. Has his Echo Slam. May have to commit it if he wants to try and escape from this one. And in fact, he will. A quick follow up with the totem. Doesn't have his fusion back yet. No support either. But he'll make a break for the tree lines. But the two quick swings from Ramses. After Pasha reveals his Blink Dagger for the first time, might have to go back in again. No one. X Torrent going to hold him next to the T1 Tower. The Burrow Strike, it caught out Burning, but the damage from OP will be enough, and they look for more. The slow on to Solo, and Burning will be able to claim his own kill. Try and help tilt this around, and having the Aegis Immortal now. Oh, okay, X marks the spot. No one. Well, they're committing everything they've possibly got. The SK is going to TP in. The Nova, pretty quick out from the Phoenix. Nothing's really going to stop that as the Ursa tries to fight Pasha. Barra strikes out of range of the Nova of Q, and they can turn into Ursa, into Burning. You can say goodbye to the Aegis Seamall. That lasts a grand total of, well, no time. And now he's going to be surrounded by five heroes. Even Io is coming in to be part of it. That was an awful team fight. So things... Oh, that's a lot of TPs. This would be a perfect time if they can do it. XSS sees no one. Echo Slam, he just needed the instant stun. Follow-up Fissure, Conquer, ensuring that no one will have to remain here as he drops down the boat. But he's already down, denying himself with a Bloodstone. No one just made the most of the opportunity. Three seconds until that relocate can pull him back out again, but he won't have three seconds. Lil will fall for 30 seconds down. Meanwhile, Burning engaged again, enraged up. They have enough damage to get the kill. No one has arrived back. Thanks to Bloodstone, a very quick spawn time. Laguna Blades, Burbaka will fall. The Epicenter slowing down the Phoenix. He doesn't have his Icarus dive. Not even Fire Spirits back off cooldown. 
a damage increase from Fiery Soul and God Strength. They'll kill Roshan before IG will even arrive. And what do you do? Solo's there. They put down the Sentry Ward, the Echo Slam on the back lines for the Lena. It's a nice fissure, but the Epicenter, it's hit the mark perfectly. Ramses has all the space in the world just to beat through Burning. And Urza is meant to be their damage dealer, trying to kill off Solo on 86 HP. He'll have space thanks to the Yule Scepter or Pasha. They just can't get away from him. That's a lot of money to be short when you're in Victus Gaming. They're looking for another Observe Ward. That's not going to last, but it gives them just enough vision to hit the Kunker. Quick Yule Scepter up. Ursa goes in towards the area. He has his enraged as well as BKB now opening up, burning. Ramses is just trying to man mode into him. The Fissure, it's blocked Ramses in. No! There's a small slither for him to get back out. And the X Mark spot works in the favor of Rams. He's putting that God Strength to work. Here comes your representative from Pasha. They still haven't brought down the ranks just yet. Echo Slam! Exorcist hits it perfectly. Combining up with the Nova. Do they have enough? No one stands his ground. The BKB just allowed to freely hit into the Nova. And a Lion Strike array and a double Burrow Strike. All the stuns are connecting perfectly from Virtus Pro. But they still haven't claimed the objective. BKB on cooldown for another eight seconds. The Torrent, it will be out of connect. Some quick raises. Where's your follow-up? Ramsey's two seconds. One second till BKB. God Strength still on cooldown a little bit longer, but Pasha, the double barrel strike will connect the enrage, protecting burning from high amounts of damage, but still, Ramsey's hits like a truck. He's gonna get more. OP will fall. There is no more Ursa, so burning is down. Ramsey's wants it, and he's gonna get it. The barrel strike helps create space. Burbaka will fall. The mid rank is finally down after what appears to have been a one hour long siege of mid, but really it was only 15 minutes. Ramsey goes for more. A triple kill for him. Catching Q out of position. An OP defensive BKB. Through. They learned this game. You go on the Wisp, but not mm -hmm. the Sven. Okay, yep. that's already looking well, more promising. Now they go on the Sven, but it baits the Wisp to come forth. Alfire Blast will connect, and Q spills first blood. Look, this is good. IG have adapted. Like, I cannot believe the amount of times that they went on the Sven in lane last game. Now, here we go. Iowa is gone. Iowa will come back into the fight. The Storm Bolt connects on two. Solo is currently fisting down, burning, and he will manage to achieve it. Okay, they went back to not going on the Wisp. <laughs> well, now they found the Io. <laughs> they've run out of their, they've run out of their Wraith King. So this Pop the clarity. Oh, got it. Q's in a lot of trouble. They're actually trying to man mode this one down. He's still got a Frostbite available. Bobic is coming back in. He doesn't actually have himself a Void just yet. He'll have it in a second, but the IO ticking down. They do go for a one-for-one -one trade off. It's a full slaughterhouse on the bottom. Hellfire Blast. Again, remember, there's no Void, so they turn their attention to Solo, who's tanking basically a creep wave and a half. They saw Tron trying, they just backed off. They yep. weren't up to the uh, a fight, and this looks like a completely different team. It's like, what? We're not gonna run away? Are you I, serious? You think I mainly run, as run, Sven? Run, RP! Oh, wait, with the Shadow Strike, no one! Does he actually tick down from this? He's, He's bottle charging up, and yeah, he'll go down. I mean, bottom lane too, there's just action going on everywhere. Burning. 14 HP, Ramses. He's got a bolt available, but the Void, the Rage is still gonna reach Burning. The Frostbite, it's over on the Iowa. Now Iowa will get his space, having to move away from the Tether. Q underneath his own T1 tower will die, but Bobrika, he's hunting the blood, but no! Lil, tethers up to the Rage! Creeping away. Oh, she's a, she's just in a one-on-one. -on -one. That's all that is. Well, she's TV bottom trying to get that kill, but she didn't get any kills. Mm -hmm. The one brief low in the oh, action. Here they go again. Stormbolt on top of the Wraith King. Bobica, they're going in. Wraith Fire Blast up towards the IO. Living Armor is keeping Lil alive, not to mention the extra life he was giving over to Solo at the time. But now Bobica starts his run. Hellfire Blast, I mean Stormbolt comes back off cooldown. So is the Hellfire Blast, punching into the tree and protector. So they get the burn on the leaves. He turns around for his own leech seed, allowing Ramsey to stand and fight, bringing down burning. You just don't do any damage. They don't care. <gasps> if the jump. Crystal Maiden, all she wanted to do was D-War. The Fidget might create space, but the relocate is going to pull Sven as she's a bristle back right on top of the T1 tower. They can move forward towards the Earthshaker. There was no Echo Slam. It was down for 16 seconds where that engagement begun. Especially with how big that he is. Yeah, but it's not actually the bristle back that's causing the oh, most issue. Bottom lane, Exus as he has to blink in. The Echo Slam catching four. So with a Fidget and the Sonic Wave. OP, the combo is nice, but they've only killed off the IO. At the same time, they killed off the IO. They did 
did their objective right. OP finds one of the trees. They'll shut down Ramses. And now last but not least, it's the Bristleback. Careful of the cool spray stacks. Burning is already quite low. Maybe you just have to trigger his reincarnation. Keep the Bristleback slowed up so he cannot run away. Nicely. I think uh, Night Stalker used Hunter Knight to fly over to the left side. Shadow Blade by the Earthshaker and Yules on the Queen of Pain. So you stopped that incoming Great Cleave. XSS is trying to prepare himself, but this Observer Ward, they're sitting inside the base, it sees too much at the moment. They saw the smoke, they understand Invictus Gaming are trying to get around, that's why no one perfectly positions, breaks the smoke, they jump into the back lines, they're looking towards the tree and protector, Burning's actually going on him, the Echo Slam, he went first, he didn't get close enough, I think the Radiance actually ticked us in the Blink Dagger, didn't have any effect, so you forced off XSS back in again, Burning's on the front lines, trying to fight, at least he has his reincarnation, to work with and he needs more help op being stunned up solo finally they bring him down both the supports both the living from virtus pro have been brought down but it's still the bristleback on your front lines beating into your ranks trigger nighttime all you want hawk stop is going to trigger off the reincarnation of the wraith king he needs more space however 36 seconds before his back off cooldown once more and no one continues the attack. The Halbert is off cooldown in one second time, so at least they can disarm Bristleback, hold him in position. You can Shadow Strike back and forward. OP has to blink to dodge his own ability coming back at him. Uh, they did very well in the T2 on bottom, but other than that, I didn't see that great of coordination from IG. Living Armor and Lotus, no one's going back in. He's got a heart. Now on top of this Bristleback, 3.9k HP they have to get through, not including all of the lifesteal he's getting from both his talent and the Octarine, and the second life he has from the Aegis the Immortal. Right now, no one can 1v5 if he wants to. Pasha, Hoof Stomp out, they find the Wraith King, but the bigger one, the Queen of Pain, her magical burst damage is removed from the field. It's a Bloodthorn on Ramses, hence the huge crits. The Tree Protector will fall, and you'll get the buyback out from him, but you've got Megas now, and IG, you said to yourself, they rarely just tap out of the game. They fight to the bitter end. That's exactly what they're doing. They're looking for an opening, but with Night Stalker falling, Burning going down, the reincarnation will trigger, but they have admitted defeat. GG will be called out.